that's on. And today we are covering Zendesk Workforce Management and its capabilities. Among others, you will hear about forecasting, scheduling agents, and tracking performance to improve productivity of your team um, and reduce ownership costs. Let me also introduce you to those who will provide you with all the expert knowledge. We gladly welcome Ivan, a workforce management guru from Zendesk. Today, Ivan will introduce you to challenges companies face on a daily basis and how Zendesk WFM resolves those roadblocks. The next speaker will be Max, customer experience engineer here at Cloudfresh. Max will not only tell, but show you everything there is to know and see about Zendesk WFM solution. And last but foremost, we will hear from Olha, project manager from Cloudfresh, about real-life use cases and workforce management applications. Just taking uh, one more moment of your attention um, to introduce you to Cloudfresh. We are trusted partners of world leading cloud solutions such as Google Cloud, Zendesk, Asana, GitLab, Okta, and Microsoft. We specialize in custom implementation, migration, AI integration, and training for those solutions to ensure first-hand experience and ongoing support. Here you can see uh, leaders uh, in their industries who already trusted uh, Cloudfresh and um, are our clients. And just before passing my word to the first speaker, I would like to mention one more exciting thing. Those branded gifts could be yours. At the end of the webinar, our speaker will choose a person who asks the most interesting question or provides comment in the chat. Um, so I wish you good luck uh, and passing my word to Ivan. Yes, thank you. Good luck from my side as well uh, for these nice presents at the end. But uh, I wanted to share a little bit uh, before Max is going to do this perfect demo. I wanted to share a little bit about uh, Zendesk Workforce Management, right? What it is in general, just to summarize it. Um, so the idea is, and what Zendesk had in mind, and got to be honest, a little bit, uh, let's say, smartly, was that the AI revolution is is coming, right? So we see it in one way or the other, but uh, at least if not in our private lives, we see it in our work lives. So it's it's making our lives easier. And it's uh, making the productivity much higher, right? So the, the idea behind uh, Zendesk WFM, or formerly Timeshift, um, was that you have an AI-powered workforce management tool. Um, and the idea is also behind it that you can uh, use this AI in terms of getting information about the volumes that you can expect with your workforce, the needed number of the, the people in there, uh, automatically creating schedules, using the algorithms in the back uh, to figure out how to best um, work off this, this workload that you have in the back. Um, and I won't be reading out, I, I presume you read out a lot of these things already from the slide in here, uh, but Max is going to be showing this later on. But uh, the numbers that you see here is something that we uh, received from our customers, and that is something that is, uh, let's say, hard science in terms of we, we are um, seeing these use cases all around the world. Um, and why that is, I will tell you in just a second, and then we have another slide prepared for this. So this is usually uh, what we experience and what I've seen day to daily. Um, I had a they were meeting like two hours ago, and they had the similar um, issues with the with the customers. So high overtime costs, too much time uh, for scheduling, agent productivity and schedule adherence is something that is wobbling, and the slow installed support improvements. So what does that mean? Um, the high overtime cost is usually caused by inaccurate forecasting or the numbers and volumes that you're getting through there. So with Zendas WFM, you have, uh, let's say, unprecedented exactness on that. So if you're using Zendesk and apply Zendas WFM to that, um, there is no better way to knowing what tomorrow will look like or three months or a year ahead, right? And then just plan with it. Um, too much time to schedule. We all know here, um, Google Sheets or Excel Sheets, whatever anyone is using sometimes for this, it works. It gets the job done. Uh, we know a lot of customers are not so small and they're still using Sheets for scheduling, but it uses a lot of time. And you don't have uh, kind of like an oversight between your forecast and your schedules. And with Zendes WFM, you have your schedules layout above and then the forecast below. And then you can know at every moment um, how you're progressing. The agent productivity and schedule adherence is something where we see um, sometimes a little bit of fear, I'm going to be honest, because agents are like, hey, everyone is going to be monitored, what's going, going to go on here. But we never see these negative effects. Uh, and our idea is also when we talk to even like bigger companies or media ones, uh, the idea is always to find a way how you can improve an agent, enable him better if someone is struggling with this uh, task. Uh, he can maybe learn from someone who is doing it really good. And with um, Zendesk WFM, you can see these 
uh, information really easy and also figure out a way how you can increase increase your productivity and make the life of your agents easier. Um, and last but not least, the slow install support improvements, uh, and I'm going to finish there, um, is something that we are seeing all around, right? Because if you want to use a solution, you like it, you see how it's doing, and then when you come to an implementation part, it's, it's sweat and tears uh, because you need to implement it, enable your agents. That is where Zendesk WFM is really easy to use. Um, you basically just add it as an add-on. The information gets ingested automatically from the tickets and everything else. And you uh, just need to, to separate your, your uh, set up your work segmentation as similar as you have in Zendesk. And basically everything else happens um, as we would like to say automatically, right? So everything else gets set up uh, based on those, let's say we usually have, and to be to share this here transparently, we usually have two to three setup sessions. Uh, and then after that, um, you're good to go. So that is just to summarize, we help automating everything that you need in the background, getting unprecedented overview of, of uh, improvement opportunities and the implementation enablement part is, is really um, short and sweet. So um, yeah, I would say at this moment, thank you for this one here. I will be available later on as well for questions, uh, but I would love to give the time now uh, to my dear Max here for the demo. Thank you very much. Thank you, Ivan. Uh, hi, everyone. Hope you all doing well today. So let me start from the features what we have in workforce management tool. And first, what I want to highlight, it's our work schedules. With this tool, we can, as administrator, uh, very convenient to plan such uh, work schedule for our agents for different teams. Also, this uh, uh, advanced AI, we're able to forecast our uh, workload, for example, in few weeks, in few days, for example. And with fixed and automated shifts, we can plan uh, our agent work, for example. <clears throat> Uh, let's start from the first feature, what I want to highlight, it will be our agent experience, what we have. So as you can see on example, we have standards and desk interface and in the top from the right corner, we can see workforce uh, add-on. This feature provides to our agents start your day. So as agent, I'll begin and start work with my tickets. So I'm able to press start button and all my activities will be tracked automatically by work workforce management tool. It is very convenient to use because you don't need to again uh, press on the button just start your day press on button it's also not required because uh, workforce automatically track all agent activity what we have uh, this feature also allows your agents to begin their day in workforce and start tracking uh, without opening for example another tabs fully all activities also we have feature like task log time limit which remain in effect for the number of minutes that you have set. After the predetermined amount of time has passed, auto clock will be re enabled and agent's time will be shifted as usual. It's very convenient to use because, for example, if you have some custom task like meeting, yeah, you able to log this task, go to meeting with your customer and help, and this activity will automatically track as a meeting, yeah, and our admins will see all this analytics the next feature what we have is our shift trading uh, as administrator we able to configure such training for example if your agent want to change his shift for example if he work uh, working in day he want to work for example a few days at the night yeah uh, in this example we can see how it's working from the left corner in the desk we have work uh, workforce add-on so as an agent i am able to use uh, this feature. I'll go to this plan. I can see my uh, my shift, yeah, and I am able to press trade shift. Here I need to choose a date of trading when it will start, yeah, and date, for example, and also I am able to choose uh, for whom this shift will be visible, yeah, because it it can be my colleagues who want to switch um, shift with me, or it can be everyone in my company. The next feature what we have from the agent experience it's our day off. Here, as you can see, uh, I can choose the reason. The reasons are customizable by administrators, so you're able to write anything 
like on my example, I have seek, out of office, vacation. Also, as an agent, I'm able to choose type of my uh, day off. It can be like uh, the full day or, or it can be like the partial of the day. Uh, also, I can choose date when it will start and day when, when it will end. And uh, in workforce, we able to create some like approval system. Yeah, um, I'm able to write my message uh, to the manager. This message will display to the manager, and he will uh, approve or deny your request. For example, so it's also uh, not required feature. We able to turn on this. Yeah. The next feature from the admin experience. <clears throat> Now uh, let's take a look of the features what we have from the admin experience. With the help of this tool uh, of the locations, we are able to create uh, some like uh, shift layouts and assign these layouts to our agents um, and define scheduling rules, for example, serve as directions for workforce algorithm to follow in order to create a specific schedule that works best for your team. Yeah, uh, you can choose anything from operational hours, time zone. As you can see on my example, I have different locations like Ukraine office, Czech office, France office, and I'm able to provide this time zone and choose uh, operational hours. So I will choose like uh, the standard days, uh, like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, uh, standard work time from nine to six. And also we have like automatic shift uh, settings like working hours per week uh, we can choose uh, time from uh, from the minimum and uh, the maximum uh, what we have uh, consecutive work days and consecutive off days and minimum hours between our shifts uh, as administrator we able to customize it fully also we able to choose uh, open uh, 24 hours in seven days it's also possible uh, the next feature is our shifts. With shifts, we're able to uh, create our um, our agent workload on day. So as you can see on my example for the Ukraine office, I have the full time yeah, and standard time. And also I'm able to choose the general tasks, what agents uh, should do um, every day. Uh, it's not required to choose these tasks with uh, forecasting from workforce. We able to, the system able to generate automatically based on historical data, some, uh, some data provide this vision for you and based on this uh, forecast generate uh, schedule for your agents uh, i'm able to customize as i wish so i can choose for example the length of this uh, of this uh, task uh, duration of this task uh, i can create the window yeah and i can say that okay i have uh, one hour window and for this task uh, I should use like 15 minutes yeah so our agents can uh, this first tool what I showed before from the agent experience can choose task and work on this task also we have um, like automated um, shifts it means that uh, we can create uh, some like switching automatic switching shifts between agents here yeah? uh, as you can see on my example i have like day and night shifts and i can choose for example uh, that my agent in this group will work two days a day and two days at night for example and uh, we can automatically rotate these shifts between our agents The next thing uh, is our work streams. Work streams allows you to create own custom channels or segmentation to reflect the type of work uh, for your team. For example, you may have agents assigned to specific channels only, like uh, it can be uh, tier one or tier two or tier three agents. With work stream, you're able to divide all these channels yeah you can choose uh, specific conditions like tickets which created from the uh, email channel from the chat or from the talk and assign this work uh, work streams to a different group of your agency as you can see on my example i have like production tickets yeah, it's our general work stream and like demo tickets so i'm able to create as i want i can 
choose the color. This color uh, will display in my uh, agent activity and in my reports. So I can choose any convenient color for me and assign this work stream for uh, my uh, for my agents. The next thing, it's like the basic one. Uh, it's our teams, thanks to this tool. Uh, it's way for the admins and managers uh, integrate part of workforce organization structure and set of the features. So as you can see, I have uh, some like uh, tech team, I have sales team, um, and with this, I'm able to create multiply uh, teams and assign agents and managers to them. Um, it's very um, important that managers will then be uh, responsible for this group. So, for example, if you turn on feature like day off, yeah, uh, the notification will receive, uh, the manager of this group will receive such notification. And it's very cool that we're able to create uh, many different groups and assign many different agents to them. <clears throat> Uh, the next feature, time of reasons. So as I said before, we're able to customize it. So by means of this tool, this time of management page, uh, this page allows your manager to approve or deny any time of request, uh, which sent from, uh, from their agents. They also be able to reopen request, as you can see on my uh, screen. We have this page. I can see requester, time of reason, type, full day or partial, and time of period. So, it, for example, it can be one day or it can be a week if uh, someone from my employer is sick. Yeah. As a request page contains all the time of request information with your account. It has two tabs that you can find on the top right corner of the screen, um, and you can work with it your managers uh, can use this feature and uh, uh, can work with this request general tasks allows you to track time for all your activities or tasks that happen outside of the desk uh, this include things like lunch breaks meetings trainings um, anything that you can create and anything with what your agents can work on my example you can see i have different tasks like meeting uh, providing with best support uh, simple support yeah um, as administrator i'm able to customize any activity what i want to provide with my agent and also um, i can uh, categorize by them Yes, yeah. Uh, also, we have three different categories in general tasks. It's uh, unproductive time. That is what all new general tasks uh, are set to by default. Yeah. And if either exclude from occupancy or productive time is not checked, for example, how it's working. The second one, and it's exclude from occupancy. Uh, this would be like an unpaid time things like uh, lunch fall under this category since the time is unpaid but still needs to be tracked yeah something like this in example and our productive time this category is for um, like general activities what our agents can make there's one of par with support related tasks also we are able to choose the desktop uh, status as you can see if i'll choose the meeting yeah as uh, the talk status will be automatically switched to transfer only or if i'll choose task support i can be in online status so we can customize it as we wish the next thing it's our work schedules with workforce schedule feature admins will be able to combine their requirements and organizational setup with workforce algorithm uh, in order to generate um, a schedule for their teams yeah uh, they able to to use ai forecast yeah and based on this ai forecast they able to generate uh, work schedule for their agents as you can see on my example 
I have work schedule for my team, so I, I can configure it manually, yeah? Or as I mentioned several times, it can be uh, done automatically based on forecast and system can generate all this activity. The next feature, shift trading. Uh, this page allows you and your managers to see all requests. Um, as a manager, also be able to approve this request. We can, uh, for example, deny. Uh, we can uh, turn on some features as required, for example, uh, approving from manager side or admin side yeah it's very convenient to use because uh, here's very simple information from the left side we can see requester name um, we can see when it was requested uh, start day end date also we can see like our closed uh, uh, closed request and we can uh, for example um, analyze this historical data and based on this historical data, we also can discuss with our agent some convenient, uh, convenient uh, work schedule for him. Yeah. The next feature is forecasting. I think it's the general feature what we have in workforce. Uh, here we we can see the page with uh, our uh, work streams, and we can see our inbound volume. We can see some like full time count. Yeah and some information in the table. So based on this information, we can forecast our future uh, workload. Yeah, uh, We're also able to uh, customize all this forecasting. We can uh, add some parameters like uh, shrinkage, occupation of day, some per percentage yeah, of our agents and their occupation. We can make some adjustments. And also, I want to say that uh, we have the several methods of analyzing our forecast. Uh, the first, it will be a profit. Uh, maybe you know this is open source algorithm developed by Facebook Meta. This built for forecasting time series and data based on any additive model uh, where we nonlinear trends are fit with yearly, yeah, with weekly and daily seasonality. Uh, the second one is our neural profit, which bridges the gap between traditional time series models and deep learning methods. So it's based on PyTorch, builds on the legacy of Facebook Meta, you know, uh, and it's also is open source. Uh, the biggest upgrade uh, which related to profit is the possibility for extensions. It's like a new feature, new algorithms, so you're able to deploy such extensions. Yeah, uh, I mean as an open source model. Yeah, and we uh, use this model in our uh, um, workforce. Also, we have a LSTM model, so long short term memory. Its neural network is one of the most advanced model out for forecasting time series. Uh, they have ability to learn long-term sequences uh, of observations, uh, which made it a trending approach to modern forecasting. Uh, the next very convenient feature, I like to use it, it's our agent activity. So in this interface, we can see uh, all our agents, we can filter it by team, by groups, yeah? And we can see with the red color, it's time which untracked, so it means that this agent uh, didn't uh, work on the tickets, but he he was signing in as a desk. Uh, also, we can see on my uh, on uh, on my demo, we can see that I'm as administrator, I'm able to customize activity of my agent. For example, if he's uh, if he won't choose like uh, the general task of his day, yeah, we, we can uh, lock our activity. And for example, if agent forgot to unlock this activity, yeah, we can discuss it, we can change this activity and we can uh, see all these analytics in one interface. Uh, I want to say that in agent activity, this is a separated interface into different activities, yeah, which provide to us vision like for the channel work, for the general task, and untracked information. 
let's go to another feature agent attendance so this is the simply table interface when uh, where we can see some information about uh, analytics yeah, about our work schedule for example what we schedule for our uh, agent we can see uh, when this user is uh, logged in into um, zendesk when it time uh, time locked unpaid bricks for example uh, when the user um, did some bricks some late uh, if this user over time his uh, his schedule and we can see the simple summary of these users uh, it's also convenient uh, convenient to use this uh, tool because uh, here we have some vision in the simple interface another thing the last of this list uh, workforce allows you create um, custom reports on my example we can see some samples uh, like agent activity we can cre create the custom uh, scheduling so for example if you want to receive uh, some reports about analytics uh, and agent activity or some custom metrics what you can use anything yeah in uh, workforce you're able to schedule these reports and send to uh, to recipients by email you can also able to choose uh, what time period of reports and when it will be uh, sent to your uh, email uh, so uh, on my example i have uh, first reply time uh, metric and i can see how my agents work with it time off for example uh, and agent attendance but a little bit in another interface also you able to export all this uh, data in CSV and analyze uh, maybe with uh, in another interface or maybe with more advanced uh, tools like uh, BigQuery, for example, etc. Yeah, I think it's all from my side. Now I'm passing my word to Irina. Thank you. Thanks, Max. Um, I suggest covering one question we sent during uh, your speech now. Um, so we have one from Anna, if Zendesk WFM tools can be customized for other departments besides support. Would it make sense for other departments? Um, can I? Uh -huh. Okay, maybe just wanted to jump in. I wanted to ask, I don't know, Max, what, was, what would be your answer as well? But I wanted to ask maybe uh, for Anna there, if she could write in terms of what other departments or what would be the use case there? Uh, for what would it be used? But uh, yeah, Max, what, what did you wanted to share? Maybe we can share kind of like a general answer until we get uh, the feedback from Anna. To be honest, I have the same question. <laughs> what is the process? <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh... yeah, there were huh, seals, for example. Okay, um, so I'm going to share from my side what we've seen until now. Uh, it, it's mostly aligned to Zendesk support. Uh, Zendesk also, although has cell. I don't know if you, uh, Anna, if you're thinking about Zendesk cell or in general uh, sales people working in through the support app. That is something that I also saw before. Uh, but just the general answer would be, if it's part of the Zendesk suite, it can be leveraged uh, for those departments as well. Thanks. Great, thanks uh, so much even for covering that. Um, I'm entering here for just a quick uh, notice on the special offer uh, we prepared uh, for you uh, as webinar participants um, we have wfm package um, among other professional services there are lots of uh, things included uh, as you can see on the slide like admin training user training um, and the location teams work streams reports so basically uh, it covers almost everything that uh, max um, just presented before uh, the package price without a discount is $7.99 so um with a 20 percent discount you uh can get it for a little bit about 600 which is a great deal um just scan the qr code if you are interested and um our team will be in touch after the webinar and just in case i will also put the link to the chat um so you can have it under the hand um and passing the stage to olha for the next part. 
Uh, thank you. Uh, hi, everyone. Uh, so I think um, Anna had a really great question regarding uh, use cases, and my first slide is uh, on use cases as well. So Zendesk Workforce Management offers a powerful suite of tools that can be applied to various customer service scenarios. Here are some specific use cases that showcase its versatility. So the first one is e-commerce management. So sales peak season staffing can be difficult without proper forecasting. And then desk workforce management provides the possibility to leverage historical health sales data and AI powered forecasting uh, to predict customer traffic through the year. So this allows for proactive scheduling, ensuring sufficient staff is available during peak hours to handle uh, order inquiries and support a smooth customer experience. So in case you are using uh, Zendesk support, using Zendesk chat, for example, so Basically, you can uh, use uh, this tool for um, sales, peak, uh, sales peak season, for example. The second use case is multi-channel customer service. So managing a team that supports customers across various channels like phone, email, chat, requires different skill sets and availability needs. So within desk for course management, you can schedule agents based on the expertise in specific channels. So ensuring customers receive the most appropriate support regardless of chosen channel. And then we have the uh, third, uh, the third use case, it's global customer support. So a company with a global present face challenges uh, managing agents across different time zones. Ensuring 24 seven coverage can be costly and complex. So then there's WFM streamlines scheduling across time zones. So you can visualize agent availability globally and schedule shifts to guarantee around the clock customer support without excessive overtime costs. And um, the last uh, but not least that I want to present use case is improving agent satisfaction. So traditional scheduling methods can lead to agent frustration due to unpredictable schedule and limited flexibility. So Zendesk Workforce Management offers self-service options for agents to swap shifts or pick up extra hours. This empowerment contributes to a more satisfied and engaged workforce. So those are just a few examples. And the desk workforce management scalability and customization capability make it a valuable tool for optimizing workforce management for various customer service needs. Uh, and uh, industry leaders uh, rely on the desk workforce management to run the teams better. So it's retail, travel, technology, healthcare, and more. And I want to share with you some customer stories. So PIC, uh, an online booking platform for tours and activities from San Francisco. So before using Zendesk Workforce Management, uh, PIC comply data into spreadsheets, manually entering performance features and employee trends. And due to its unorganized data collection, uh, the company often had inaccurate staff scheduling processes. Uh, so after switching to Zendesk Workforce Management, uh, the productivity skyrocketed. And we can see a really good numbers as 43 plus admin hours saved, from, uh, saved, uh, saved uh, by admin per month. And also uh, they've got good staffing accuracy and accountability and precise data and analytics. And uh, also there is a, a success story from retail company Vice. Uh, they improved uh, customer experience stability, efficiency, and agent experience. So you can see a great results here as well. So 92% of customer satisfaction. Uh, so it's also uh, thanks to the desk and the desk workforce management here. Uh, then also we've got uh, Moniz. Uh, Moniz is using Zendesk Advanced AI and Workforce Management tool. And we have a great quote from VP of Customer Service. What I love most about Zendesk is a setup. We are faced 
a fast-paced business and we don't have months and months to set up solutions so definitely we need like days maybe weeks to set up the desk but not months and it's uh, really great that we have this opportunity that the desk provides it all and also we have here a good numbers like 82 percent time savings with the desk workforce management uh, and uh, what I want to highlight also that you can be the one achieving great numbers I just presented and we could be uh, we could help you with that so apart from the desk licenses we are offering our professional services so our expertises includes everything for the customizing desk setup successful functioning and AI functions and uh, also we could cover for you for example workforce management implementation uh, i recommend to use the opportunity of 20 percent discount for the service don't miss this opportunity please uh, okay and uh, of course why cloud fresh so uh, some benefits of partnering with us so if you are new to zendesk we will provide you with a tailored proof of concept so you can uh, experience how Zendesk solution would work for your company before making a commitment. And uh, also you can enjoy special discounts available through CloudFresh as a Zendesk premier partner and convenient for you business payment options. Uh, so please welcome uh, and we will be ready to hear uh, what exactly um, use case you have and help you to implement it. Uh, so that's all from my side for today. Uh, thank you alone for your attention. And I think I'm passing the words to Irina. Uh, yeah, thanks, Olga. Um, I will open the Q&A session. Uh, so meanwhile, in the chat, we had a question about the localize. I uh, haven't heard a bit uh, about it uh, earlier. So um, even if you know if we have an integration and maybe you heard about the use case. Yeah, that is, that is a good call out for that one. Um, so just to summarize, no, not directly about we localize. Um, and if the question was, is there any relation between the products? There is none. Uh, but the good question is about the integration side, right? Um, so we went with times for previous in our Zendas WFM. Um, we believe the better route, right? We did not want to be having specific products that we integrate with, but we went the general API route. So we have at this moment, um, three endpoints and working towards more of them. So you have the reporting endpoint, the agent activity endpoint, and the scheduling endpoint. So with these um, APIs, you can basically put these data like from your reports, from your agent activities, or from your schedules into any tool that you like, right? So this is the way that we went. And because we're getting a lot of questions, especially about specific HR tools like Hi Bob, the current uh, most uh, most popular one seems like it. So we always share with the customers, hey, uh, we, we are going the general API route and uh, giving you the flexibility to integrate with, with whichever tool you want, right? Yeah, yeah, thanks. Uh, thanks for covering that. Mm -hmm. And we don't have uh, other questions at the moment, but I have one uh, from my side. I think it uh, for you, Ivan, challenging one. So how do you think we can approach like this perception that agents might have uh, when a company like implements a WFM, uh, because there mm -hmm. is uh, always a um, uh, place for doubt uh, in terms that this is a controlling tool, uh, that they might fear that with this optimization, um, layoffs come uh, next. So how work mm -hmm. with that if one, if one decides to buy WFM? An interesting question and a tricky one. Um, so we are we are dealing with this question for years now. Um, we have in our company, so TimeShift at the time started with uh, with a bunch of enthusiasts trying to make uh, um, the Zendesk of WFM at that time. So that was the idea. Um, and then uh, with this, it came to the question of how we want to set us up as a company, right? Because we, we knew that some companies could use the tool for, as you would say, maybe uh, some topics that is uh, that are a bit scary for the agents but um, also we have on the other hand a lot of folks that are in the company that were agents before so we know how it goes right and uh, to make it short because I see we have another question here to make it short but not uh, omit anything out of this question the point is and what we felt until now um, I was talking recently a week ago with a, with a really really 
large German company, an enterprise company, who has, I mean, I would say that openly has all the levers needed just to, you know, if they need to create layoffs or anything else, they're so huge that they would not even notice it, right? So we see this a lot around. But even uh, their director of CX was of the idea, hey, we don't want to use your tool to layer folks, right? That is not our idea because we mm-hmm. want to get more productive with the tool. And the idea is to spotlight where we can improve and we want to use this tool for that. And I'm hearing this all around. Uh, but then again, we also have customers who want to maybe plan some savings, right? So yeah. this is always the balancing act. Uh, we are on one hand always suggesting, and when we see visionary leaders like this guy uh, who, who's heading the CX department at this large company, you should use this tool to uh, bring yourself more value, more productivity, and not get rid of people because you're going to have a problem in a couple of months, what we see all around, right? So if you're in a company and if you're afraid when Zendesk WFM might be implemented, what is going to happen? Um, I believe you're already in a problem <laughs> because it's at the end the question of the company culture, right? So yeah. I, w- I would leave it at that at this moment. Yeah, makes sense. Thanks, thanks for that. Um, yeah, we have a question from uh, Bogdan. Uh, if um, Zendesk WFM can be used with other uh, SISync uh, uh, solutions for support, so uh, except for Zendesk, mm-hmm. Um, so is it compatible? not anymore. I'm going to make it uh, short as well. Oh, not okay. anymore. Uh, we had plans on that before, but now that we got acquired by Zendesk, it's a Zendesk exclusive solution. Uh, so if you're using Zendesk, you can use Zendesk WFM as well. But it's a good question. It's a good question. Okay. Okay. Thanks so much. Uh, and I, and um, I want to add one more thing. I yeah. think we mentioned this before, or maybe Max during his demo. One of because you asked also about good use cases. A uh, really good use case uh, that we are seeing a lot, which um, does not jeopardize the internal agents uh, at all, of course, um, is also if you're dealing with BPOs or any kind of outsourcing, you can use Zendesk WFM as kind of like a sanity check if you are getting what you're paying for, right? Um, in terms of you can set up the tool so that the um, the other folks, the outsourcing company or the BPOs have access to certain features with the nice roles and permission feature and also to uh, only their teams or their agents. And then you can get reports on, on uh, how they're performing, maybe enable them to get better at it. So this is a really, really common use case. If you're working with BPOs, then the WFM is a, is a yeah, no-brainer, let's say like that. Yeah. Thanks. Um, I, we don't have uh, other questions, so we can um, go straight to uh, choosing a winner for uh, this webinar. I think even I'll uh, give you a mic here as well because you answered uh, pretty much all of the questions. So you can choose the best one that sounds the most interesting for you. Oh, okay, that is putting me on the spot there. Okay. <laughs> um, I want to check. Let me just see one thing here, please. Uh, I would say. Um, I would say Anna's question was really good on that point. And she also provided an answer. So I would say Anna should get the prize. And Great. thank you very much to you, Anna and Bogdan as well for your questions. Yeah, yeah. Thank you so much, uh, Anna. Thanks uh, uh, for asking that. And um, I will contact you after the webinar uh, for all the details. And we will send you um, this branded gifts shortly. Um, we will finish a little bit earlier, but uh, just before we do that, I want to remind about the offer, uh, 20% discount for the WFM professional services. The package uh, now costs without a discount $7.99. so thank you for attending. Thank you for being here with us. Uh, thank you, uh, Ivan, Max, and Olha for covering um, all the questions and the interesting topics. Um, I will send you the recording uh, and slides uh, after the webinar. Um, have a nice day, everyone. Thank you much. Have a nice one. Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye-bye. 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 Bye-bye.